All right, in this video, we are going to solve this problem provided to us by Igor Tiger Geometer Dude. It's definitely not my problem, it's his problem. Uh, and we're gonna see if we could find the length of the side length of the larger square. We've got two squares. We've got the yellow one with an area of one square unit, and then we've got the big square, and our job is to figure out that side length of that big square. So let's get started on this. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to notice that, okay, so we have, I, I don't know what the side length is, so let's just call it x. Now, if this is a side length of 1, then this has got to be x minus 1, side length of 1, because that's how we get 1 times 1 is um, an area of 1 square unit. Uh, so that means way over here is also x minus 1. And I can kind of like draw this line and I can see that uh, this is A and this is A, which means this is B and this is B. And because I know that this is one, that means this is one. So this length right here is one. That means this length here is X minus one. So I'm not sure if any of that's gonna be useful yet. Um, boy, what am I gonna do? Oh, I okay, so I've got a, 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 a line right here, and, and heck, let's, let's draw that in green here. So, all right, so there's my line right, right there, all right? And uh, that line has a slope, but I can describe that slope in two different ways. I can see that the slope is right here, but then I can also see the slope is the entire thing and well, I'm not sure if this is going to be needed, but I can I can see that the slope is right here as well. So I've got three different ways to describe that slope, and uh, let's see if we can you know use that and have the answer kind of pop out at us a little bit, I guess. And so if I start with this slope right here, what is that slope? Well, I know that slope is going to be rise over run. And the slope is, it goes up, and it goes up by 1. And then the run, what is the run right here? Oh, the run is going to be x minus 1. So there is one way to describe the slope. All right, and so let's see if we can come up with another way to describe that slope. And let's look at this whole, whole one, I guess. And so that whole slope right there, the rise is x and the run is, okay, they got it. The rise is x and the run is one. So now we've got two different ways to describe the same slope. We've got, let's make these smaller here and get them out of our way. And so I've got one way to describe the slope is one over x minus one. The other way is x over one and those are equal. And so let's do it in dark green. So I've got 1 over x minus 1 is equal to x over 1. And now we could do some cross products here. And I've got x squared minus x is equal to 1 because I just kind of did my little cross products right there. And uh, and then, okay, so then what am I going to do now? Oh, gosh. Uh, let's get back to the green. I could say, well, that's x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. And nothing is calling me in terms of how to factor that off the top of my head. So let's kind of shrink some stuff, get it out of our way. Let's shrink that. Come on, baby. All right, move that, get it out of our way. Um, and so let's use the quadratic formula. So my a here is 1, my b is negative 1, and my c is negative 1. So let's do the quadratic formula. So x is equal to, well, let's kind of write that down. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over to a and then I can see okay so negative b well if b is negative 1 then negative b is going to be positive 1 over uh, no plus or minus square root of okay so then it's going to be 
negative one squared minus four times a, which is a one, times c, which is a negative one, all over two times one, two, which is a, all right? And now let's just kind of do some fancy schmancy algebra here. So we've got one plus or minus the square root of, and then this is gonna be one minus, it's gonna be plus four, all over two. All right, so x is equal to, so now we can kind of simplify that and say x is either one plus the square root of five over two, or x is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. All right, well, we, we can't have this one. That's against the uh, law, <laughs> so to speak, because that would, that would give us a negative answer. And we know our length can't be a negative length up here. That can't be a negative length. So we definitely know it cannot be this guy. It means our x value has to be one plus the square root of five over two. And I don't know what that is, but that's close enough. Um, that's why I couldn't come up with um, factoring that off the top of my head because the value of x is one plus the square root of five all over two. And that wraps up this problem. Uh, what is that length of that of that square? It's one plus the square root of five over two. And if you have made it this far, folks, uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, and especially leave some sort of comments on you know, down below in terms of how you solved it. And because you probably solved it in a way that's nicer and tidier than me. So I'd love to see your thinking.